located on Louisiana's only inhabited barrier island, Louisiana Sea Grant, has operated an oyster hatchery and lab on Grand Isle since 1993. Originally established by Gulf Shellfish Farms three years earlier, Sea Grant acquired the facility for bivalve breeding and research. In the early 2000s, the hatchery was destroyed twice by hurricanes with millions of larvae lost. In efforts to build back stronger, after Hurricanes Katrina and Gustav, the hatchery temporarily moved to the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries lab on the island. Construction of a new, permanent building was completed in 2015, and it was dedicated as the Michael Voisin Oyster Hatchery in honor of the respected leader in the oyster industry who passed in 2013. Today, the hatchery boasts new filtration systems and protein skimmers to keep harmful bacteria and diseases from affecting oyster stock. Bay water from the Gulf of Mexico can be filtered through these systems down to 0.1 microns, creating extremely clean water for oyster culture. Having ripe broodstock that are ready to spawn is important at any hatchery. Oysters spawn in water temperatures of 20 to 30 degrees centigrade. Housing the oysters in defined water temperatures control their reproduction and allow spawning to occur when needed. Free swimming larvae are moved into rearing tanks where they are fed algae while they grow. Once these larvae have produced an eye spot on their shells and a foot allowing them to crawl, they are harvested from the rearing tanks using a specialized screen. Once considered pedivlidger larvae, they are placed in a tank with substrate. The oyster then uses its foot to crawl, searching for a place to settle. When an ideal place is located, the oyster uses its cement gland to spat or set onto the substrate and begin its sedentary life, growing from a juvenile to adult. As the larvae settles, it goes through a metamorphosis absorbing the foot, developing a gill for respiration and filtering food from, from the surrounding water. The Voisin oyster hatchery grows its own algae. Phytoplankton or microalgae are grown in large quantities to provide food for the larvae, seed, and the broodstock. Certain algal species are known to provide optimal diets. Filtered seawater is delivered to the algal cultures to maintain peak production and nutrition. The darker shades of the cultures indicate higher cell densities. Spat grow rapidly when placed in a nursery system. Large volumes of seawater are pumped through silos to provide food and oxygen. The oysters are graded regularly to separate the fast-growing seed from slower seed. This allows researchers to determine which spat should be deployed to the off-bottom demonstration oyster farm. The current demonstration farm at the hatchery utilizes an off-bottom cage system for growing oysters to adulthood. The farm houses brood stock from different bays across the state of Louisiana and allows researchers to conduct various projects with these oysters. The hatchery provides oysters for research at any university in Louisiana for free. It also provides guidance to the oyster industry by helping farmers set up their own nurseries or hatchery. Hatchery personnel also participate in outreach ventures attending events to promote oyster aquaculture, as well as hosting workshops for farmers and teachers to promote education at all levels.